got it got it now we are going to discuss about the functional group so what i what is a functional group in the last class we have discuss about methane 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 like a propane propene propyne if you remember mm -hmm. that yeah. like alkene means single bond alkene means double bond and alkyne means triple bond now uh, you need to see there are functional group so first if i talk, suppose if there is a oh oh always attach like the same o and there is a h this is called alcohol group alcohol and it's a suffix known as all okay i am telling you what is these but just let's focus on that it is called all uh, another is known as uh, like c double bond o h and it is written as cho okay c double bond this is how it will look like in the structure c double bond h so it is a cho it is called aldehyde mm -hmm. aldehyde and the suffix name is al okay al a l al now there is a ketone group it's the c double bond o something like that so whenever you see that c double bond o so this is co and co is called ketone ketone and ketone is what one on like non methanol ethanol propanol okay on mm -hmm. okay now the last it is c double bond o and it is h so this is c double bond o h so if you see this so this is coh so coh is known as carboxylic acid so this is <coughs> carboxylic acid so this is known as the oic acid oic acid so what these are so these are the suffix okay these are the name so alcohol name is uh, o, uh, alcohol structure is oh aldehyde structure is cho ketone structure is co can you see co co is always coming in between yes okay like this side left side and right side there is a chain mm -hmm. and uh, the coh it is a c double bond o and oh this is called carboxylic acid so now uh, if i tell you the further one uh, have you learned that you have 20 second just quickly learn it right now yeah mm -hmm. yes i i'm okay with it okay okay so how's the house days are going on uh they're going on i would say slow during the most parts of the weekdays from monday to friday but I would say for the most part they're going pretty long because the schools haven't reopened yet, and I don't think they will anytime soon. Okay, and uh, and what about Corona? Like, uh, you it is still it is a uh, like people are going out or not? Some people, yeah, but um, our version of our um disease control center called the CDC, they are recommending that now um people should start wearing masks when they proceed outside. Okay, so there there is a lockdown, right? What happened? A lockdown? Uh, there is a lockdown or not? They didn't necessarily say it was a lockdown. They just said like just no they didn't really declare it a lockdown emergency like in India as okay. I would say. But it is okay. basically a lockdown more or less. Okay. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, so this is what this is the oil acid and now if I talk about further Okay, the first one was if I discuss, can you just see that? Uh, I told you this is all, and all means this is alcohol. So alcohol can be written as. See, if I say methanol, so methanol. Methanol means meth means one, and all yeah. means alcohol. Mm -hmm. So it means one carbon, and there should be one OH. OH yes. is the indication of all, and the and rest side there is a H. Yes. So don't say don't combine it. So it become CH three OH. Did I tell you all these or not? Oh yes, you told me all these. I, I told you all these. Yes, I'm not all of them. You did not. I'm um, say keto. Um, 
ketoning okay. carboxylic did acid. I, did I explain these in the last class? You really, you only explained alcohol and aldehyde, not um ketone and carboxylic acid. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so you already know the alcohol and ketone? Um, I mean the aldehyde? Yes, aldehyde, yes. Okay, okay. Now, if I talk about, okay, so can you tell me, uh, like, if I say to you, pentanal. Pentanal. So, pentanal so, means 5 carbon alumine aldehyde? Yes. So the carbon will be included in that mm -hmm. C double bond H. It is CHO. Yes. And red side, rest side, there will be hydrogen. So it would be uh, C four H nine and CHO. Am I right? Yes. So this is the formula of pentanal. Okay. Now, uh, if I talk about the ketone group, remember, okay, as I told you, ketone always comes in um, between the two one, right? So, yes. if ketone want to come in between, so at least how many members we need? What do you say, sorry? See, uh, if I am saying if somebody is want to come in between two people, right? Yes. So, total how many people we need? At least three, now. Mm -hmm. Suppose if a child is not sleeping in a, his room because of some uh, like oh, he like he's frightened because of ghost. So now he is going to uh, parents' room and parents were sleeping. So now if he is coming in between the parents, so total how many members are there? Three. Three, right? So it means if you want to come in between of any two people, so obviously total become three, right? Uh huh. So ketone, so if I talk about ketone, so meth methanol and butane, methanol and ethanol, is it possible? If it's methanol, for methane and butane, that will not be possible. Yes, so it means if I talk about the uh, methanol, methanol and, and ethanol, it is not possible completely, right? Yes. Okay, so it means, so, but propanol is possible? Yes, because it's three. Yes, so propanol is completely possible. So now, if I say that, so this is CO, and right side there is a CH3, and this is also CH3, right? Mm -hmm. So what would be the formula? Remember, you can't combine this and this together. So you have to write as the structure is saying, like CH3. CO CS3. Got it? Yes. Like this side it is CS3. We somebody we some people say like oh this is CS3, this is CS3. So it becomes C2H6. No, never say that. Why? Because the CO always remain in between. Right? Yeah. Like that. So mm -hmm. in this structure it is not in between. That's why you can't make it. I hope you are getting that. Yes. Okay. So now after that. If I want yeah. to make, uh, okay, this is the about the method prop. If I talk about butanol, so remember, remember, uh, always leave the first position. Like now, you can make it on this group and this group both, right? Mm -hmm. So always leave leave first position and, and make a ketone this side. Okay. Yes. Always leave one position of that. Okay. So this will become what is the formula of that now? So you will say it is C2H6, C2H5, mm -hmm. CO and CS3. So it is what? It is known as butanol. Butanol. Okay. Why? Because it is 4. Are you getting that? Yes. Okay. Can you make a structure of pentanol? Sure. A pentanol you said? Yes. Pentanol. 5 carbon. Okay. Okay, so you draw. Um, wait, can I draw over here or on the? No, you have to draw and okay. tell me the formula. Okay, so the formula for that would just be CH three, CO CH three. What? You said for pentanol, right? Pentanol. 
Oh, pentanol. Sorry, I thought you said pentanol. Sorry, let me just draw. No, no, no. pentanol is already done. No, alcohol group is already done. Yes. Let me just draw it right now. Yeah, sure. Give me one second, I'm just erasing something. Yeah, yeah, sure, take your time. Um, wait, quick question, um, how do you write, um, ketone again, sorry, is it, um, it's C-O-O-H, right? No, 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 this is C-O, C-O is a non, on, no? oh. this is butanone, see, I'm telling you, pentanone, pentanone means 5 carbon, right? Mm -hmm. And non means C double bond O, and it is always coming in between, so I told you, leave only one position, Yes. okay, just, just leave only first part, and it is also in between. Okay. Like these three are middle, right? Mm -hmm. So always choose this left side portion. Okay. This right side portion. Okay. Okay. I so, actually wrote, oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. is I actually wrote it down. It's just that like, I got confused between carboxylic and um, uh, ketone. Sorry. Okay. Got it. No, no. I haven't started the carboxylic now. So I will tell you, don't worry. So yeah, it becomes C3H7CO. And CS3, am I right? Yes. This is what? This is pentanol. Okay, can you make a structure for me? Hexanon? Hexanon, sure. So the structure for hexanon will be C4H9. C O C H three. What you said? C four H nine. C O C H three. Uh, very right. Very good. Yes. Why? Because uh, four will be like that. Mm -hmm. So eight or nine, and it would be C O and it would be C H three. Very good. Okay. So I hope the ketone is clear to you. Um, yes. Now, now, what what will we do uh, if a ketone group is present on the like like some different carbon? Like, see that uh, if a carbon is something like that, okay, and ketone group is uh, present on that. So, what would be the name of this? So, see, you can start the counting from anywhere. One, two, three, four, and it is also four if we start from that, right? Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, seven, right? So ketone yes. group is present on the fourth carbon, am I right? Uh huh. So you will call it as a seven. Seven is what? Like meth, eighth, prop, but, pent, hept. Hept, hept, right? Hept. Yes, hept. So hept four non. Okay. It means carbon is seven, and at the fourth position there is a there is a ketone group non. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you won't say haptane on. You have to mention that at what position. So you will call it as haptane, haptane 4 non. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now you have to tell me what is the name of that compound. Sure. Always start the numbering from that side where functional group is near. Okay. You can see that uh, the like. Carbon, this ketone group is coming near from right side or left side? It's coming from the... What do you say, sorry? 
ketone group is quite near from the right side or left side it's quite near to the right side yeah so start numbering from the right side mhm mm so then it'll just be oct for non very good very good yes completely right i hope you got it how to solve that yes you have mentioned what position it's in yeah so this is all about the ketone and we have done the ketone now what we have to start any guesses sorry what um next is going to be carboxylic yeah, yeah. carboxylic is coh and coh means it is like that mm -hmm. okay so uh, what do you think methanoic acid is possible or not um it won't be possible possible or not possible not not possible okay let me check see one carbon is required mm -hmm. and this is the carboxylic okay c o o h so if you see very carefully carbon is done with the only three so now can we put one hydrogen yes so this is the carboxylic group and this is that carbon so we can write it as h c o o h yes it is possible okay oh, okay sorry okay yeah is fine see it is h na so we can write the h h is everywhere okay that one carbon is included in the functional group isn't it mm -hmm. from the name it seems like it is not possible but yes it is like possible why because uh, valence we need to fulfill the four valency right yes okay ethanoic acid is oic acid why i am saying oic because its suffix is oic its suffix is oic oic okay ethanoic acid is possible um yes of course see this carbon will become carboxylic and here is the h c h h h so its formula become ch3 c o o h right mm -hmm. so this is called ethanoic acid got it yes are you sure that mm -hmm. okay now can you make a structure of propanoic acid for me sure the four and five will be c2 h5 c o o h yeah what did you say um the formula is c2 h5 c o o h one let me check c2 h5 c o o h right yes okay very right any single doubt in this nope okay so if you have already make then make uh, one more structure butanoic acid sure So the formula of that will be C three H seven C O O H. C three H seven, right? Yes. Why? Yeah, it's very good. C three H seven, and it will be C O O H. Yes, is that clear to you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. So with that, uh, we have completed your this main main nomenclature. Okay. So now, uh, let's discuss about the. Okay. I want to tell you, uh, the. These whatever we have discussed is about the chain, right? The open chain structures, carbon yes. carbon chain structure. Now we have a close ring structure. Close ring. and uh, so i am talking about the aromatic compounds 
aromatic compound means sweet smelling compound they have a good smell mm -hmm. aromatic compounds and these are like circular ring structure so most important structure is the benzene okay before i make the benzene suppose this is the at every corner there is a carbon okay mm -hmm. at every corner there is a carbon so just tell me if this carbon is already attached with uh you can see that if this carbon is already attached with the uh two two carbons with each other right mm -hmm. so obviously how many hydrogen are left here two right yes that's why four valency is completed mm -hmm. so this is known as what this is the cycle structure so that's why it is known as cyclohexane why hexane because just there's count it how many hydrogen carbon are there because there's six Yes, that's why it is called cyclohexane. Okay, but that is not aromatic. Why? Because for the aromatic, there should be alternate double bond. Can you just see any double bond here? There are no double bonds. Yes. So if I want to make the benzene, so there should be alternate double bond. Okay, the like so there is a structure. And there is an alternate double bond like that. Can you just see that? Yes. So as there is a double bond, so see if this carb, so this carbon is attached with how many bond? That one already has three. So we have to make only one hydrogen, right? Yes. And this carbon? That one has um only one. I mean two. Sorry, two. Really? Oh, sorry. From that position, sorry. Um, wouldn't that mean it's three also? Yes, and this that would also be three. Yeah. So can I say every carbon has a three? Yeah. So only one one hydrogen will come that side. Mhm. Mm so that's why its formula is known as C C H six. So just tell me, uh, there is an alternate double bond, yes or no? Yes. So this is called the main aromatic compound. This is known as benzene. Okay. So this is name is benzene. This is very common. So when bonds are alternately arranged and carbon carbon and double bond is there, so its formula becomes the C six H six. Got it? Mm -hmm. So its smell is good or bad? Good. Yeah. So this is known as aromatic compound. So these structure are open structure or closed structures? These are closed structures. Yes, I hope you got it. Yes. Now, yes. So this is suppose a functional group is attached to that side, okay? So this position, this position is known as ortho, okay? This position is known as ortho. This position is known as meta, and this position is known as para, okay? So this is called ortho position. This is called meta position, and this is called para position. Don't you think it is also same like that? Yes. So this is also called as ortho. Okay. This one and this one is same. So this is also called ortho. Mm -hmm. This one and this one it is also same. So this is also called meta. And this is the only one. It is called para. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Because so, um. Oh, you mind if I say something? Yeah. Um, so I would say back a few months ago, we um actually did a laboratory experiment with paradichlorobenzene. Um, do you know what that is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dichlorobenzene. Paradichlorobenzene. Paradichlorobenzene. Mm hmm Okay. See, there is a benzene. So suppose here it is the chlorine, right? Mm -hmm. So at the para position, this is ortho, this is meta, and this is the chlorine. So this is what? So this is para dichlorobenzene. Got mm -hmm. it? Yes. So this is what? This is the structure because there are two benzene, na? This one and this one. 
and mm-hmm. at the para position they are so that's why it is called para dichloro benzene clear that yes okay and meta if i say meta dichloro benzene so you will make a chlorine here are you getting my point or not yes okay so uh, if i talk about like we have discuss about the alco see uh do you know the oh group um hydroxyl group yeah hydroxy group right mm-hmm. so actually this is known as the alcohol group also right yes alcoholic group mhm so if i talk about that the alcoholic group so if for this alcoholic group present over the benzene ring over the benzene ring right so mm-hmm. it, it becomes what then it becomes the phenol i guess you have heard about that mhm so if benzene ring means alternate double bond you can also make this alternate double bond like that yes okay you can make these as a circular structure in the middle and oh here so this is known as the phenol theek okay? hai this is known as what this is known as phenol any doubt here no doubt okay now after that yeah see uh if i say that uh, see suppose if i say chlorine is attach here okay mm-hmm. so people also put a name like that this this position is known as one this is known as two this is known as three this is known as four and this is known as five okay oh sorry 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 this is sorry this is the chlorine right so we start from here only one yes okay one position is itself occupied by that group so this is two this is three this is four this is five and this is six got it yes so it means uh, we can also name not by my ortho meta but also by the 1 2 3 4 like that okay 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 so now uh, matthew uh, if i say that there is a benzene ring okay and there is a oh and uh, one chlorine is attached here and uh, suppose one chlorine is attached here so what is the name of that compound so um how exactly would you name that since there's one chlorine in the pair position and another one in the yeah um, yeah yeah i'm telling you see this is phenol right benzene uh, like there is a oh on the benzene yes so if there is a oh on the benzene this is phenol okay yes. so this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 right yes so at the 4 and 5 there is a chlorine chlorine aha uh-huh. so you will call it as 4 5 dichlorophenol okay okay so four five first assign the position then write how many chlorine and then write the complete one this is phenol clear that got it okay now if i say that yeah if uh, okay always remember whenever i write in the branching name the c c means ch3 so it is yeah. always known as a methyl group okay oh, okay and whenever there is like two carbon so you will call it as a ethyl group okay mm-hmm. so ethyl group and eth- methyl group one second
Just give me a second. It's alright, take your time. Is my video visible? Your video? Um, no. Okay, okay, got it. Just give me a sec. Yes. Now, if I say there is a carbon structure. Yeah, I told you this is a methyl group, right? Yes. So, how many carbon these are? See. Uh, always start the numbering view branching is near this is branch yes so one two three four five and six so at the two carbon there is a methyl group right yes so we will call it as two methyl and this is what hexane yes so two methyl hexane right mm -hmm. suppose if i write here uh, C double bond O O H. So this is oic acid, am I right? Yeah, it's yes, oic acid. And always remember, numbering should be always start from where functional group is near. Yes. Where functional group is near, and functional group is what? Can you see that? This is the functional group mean? Yes, that's. So um... always start numbering from it and cut it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now it become five methyl. 5 methyl hexanoic acid, am I right? Yes. Why? Because oh, uh, it is a one hour class, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so this is 6 hex and noic acid. Clear that? Yes. Okay. Now, if I say that, suppose 1C is there, 1C, 1. So, Obviously, you know that this is known as methyl, right? Mm -hmm. And this is known as ethyl. Yes. Okay. What do you think? What is its name? So, would it be... um? So, I think... I presume it would be 2-methyl-5-ethyl-hexane? Hex, yeah, very good. But remember, it should be alphabetically. Just yes. tell me, methyl and methyl, which comes first, E or M? E. So then it'll e. be um five et. So then it'll be five ethyl two. Five me four four. Four sorry four sorry um yeah. four ethyl. Okay, like one yes. two three four five six. So mm -hmm. it should be four ethyl, two methyl, and this is hexane. Am I right? Yes. Very simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you have to tell me that is it easy or tough? It's, it's easy. It's just that like I'm kind of I'm screwing because I'm doing something right now. Sorry. Okay. Just give me a second. Yep. Now. Remember one thing. I'm not making hydrogens. Okay. Okay. Hydrogen is also there. Yes. Never, never write like that because hydrogen doesn't make helpful in the name and nomenclature, right? But hydrogens are present here, right? Yes. So always remember how you have to make hydrogens also. Yes. I am not making hydrogen. Why? Because I am just trying to explain you the nomenclature right now. Yes. Yes. What do you think? What what's name? What is the name of that compound? Let me just give me a quick second. So the name of that compound will be oh. So the name of that compound would basically be um four et four ethyl five propyl heptane. So four ethyl five propyl heptane. Uh, don't you think uh, here in this compound, uh, if we start the numbering, so numbering should be start from where branching is near, like 1, 2, 3, 4, oh. 5, 6 and 7, right? 
Mm-hmm. So can I say at the four there is a ethyl group? Yes. And at the three there are two two methyl group. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Two methyl group. So we can say that four ethyl. And we can say three three dimethyl, right? Three three dimethyl heptane. Am I right? Yes. Are you getting that? Because at the three there are two methyl, na? Yes. So always assign two position. One for that two because two methyl, so obviously two positions. One mm-hmm. ethyl, so one position. Yes. Clear that? Clear. Okay. uh i know uh it's seems quite tough but uh, no, uh, can you know uh, it's just that, like i'm uh there's some something just going on in my house sorry it's just that i have to like multitask sorry about that um so well, that basically would just be um two so sorry it'll be um two methyl three methyl Four, um, propyl, five methyl, um, heptane. Okay, and uh, don't you think methyl methyl can be combined together? Yeah. Uh, so, like uh, two, three, and uh, five, five trimethyl. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah. So combine them. Any guesses? Yes. Yeah, so it'll be um. Two, three, five, trimethyl, four, propyl, heptane. Okay. So, see, uh, what can we do here? Uh, here, if we start the numbering, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, right? Yeah. So, if I talk about four, so, okay. See, this is what? This is methyl propyl. Mm-hmm. And these are the methyl. So of course we can say that two, three, five trimethyl, trimethyl, four propyl, four propyl heptane, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Very simple. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Do you know the halogens? Um, halogens, yes. Like chlorofluorobromo. Yes. So, like, if I make and I, I get, I told you already the alkene group, right? Mm-hmm. Alkene means like double bond. Yes. This is CH three, and this is the Cl. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what would be the name of that compound? So the name of that compound would basically be three three chloro two methyl oh, sorry um two pentane yes yeah you were saying very right okay so three chloro two methyl and pentane got it. Mm-hmm. So, how's the life is going on <laughs> in this Corona effect? It's kind of weird. I, sorry, just that, like I'm multitasking right now. I'm sorry, I can't pay attention. It's just that like I have to do like, one thing and another. Sorry about that. Sorry, I didn't get you. Um, I'm multitasking. I ha- I just have to do something around the house. That's why. Like I'm just doing something back and forth. That's why. Like it's kind of hard for me to pay attention. Okay. 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 Uh, what is the name of that compound? So the name of that compound will just be three bromo two car two um. Okay. Remember, remember, whenever there is a alkyl group, na, so it is always better to start from the halogen. Halogen is a kind of functional group, na. Yes. So that's why. 
Okay. So we can say that this is bromo. So one or two. So two. better to say two bromo. Okay. So two bromo three methyl butane. Okay. Uh mm-hmm. So two bromo three methyl butane. Is that clear or not? It's clear. Okay. Now let's ask about the unsaturated carbon. Unsaturated means like when there is a double bond or triple bond. So yeah. See, double bond is at the one carbon and one, two, three, four, five carbon, right? Sorry, four carbon. Yes. So always go that side. One, like so, it means one carbon and four carbon. There is a double bond. So better to say one four hex diene. Okay. And some people also call it as like hex one four diene. Okay. Like if there is one only one double bond, so we we call it as a hexene. Yes. So better to say hex one four diene. Okay. Hmm. Are you sure that? Yes. Okay. Now, and if there is a triple bond, so what do you call it as? A uh, what type bond? Sorry. If there is a triple bond, so you triple call bond it is called. It's called alka- alkyne. Yep. So C H triple bond C C H double bond C H. C H double bond C H two. What is the name of that? Give me one second. C H double bond C H two. So that would be okay. Um, uh, if I start from here, one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right? Yes. Ah, uh, so double bond is at the one and three, right? Yes. So better to so a total it is six. So hex. Yes. One three diene and five ine. Am I right? Uh huh. So hex one three diene and five ine. It is quite simple. Uh huh. Are you sure? Yes, because it's one and three for the double bond, and um. Yeah, five, yeah. And five yeah. is just for the triple bond. Yep. Now it is OH and it is also OH. What is the name of that compound? So sure. So the name of that compound will just be. It will be um, butte for. Okay, butte, butte and they're all all o- yes. OH means all. Am I right? Yes. So if all means OH, so we can say that uh, simply. Uh, like two all diol, can I say? Yes. So we can say that two three but diol, or we can say like but two three diol. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, OH, and this is CS three. What is the name of that compound? So the name of that compound. We're just giving one quick second. So starting from the left hand side, um, you start from the left hand side, right? Yep. Okay. So the name of that basically would be um, um, pent. pent no, no. There is a methyl, lah. Methyl. What? Sorry. Um. There is a methyl group, so better to start from methyl, lah, first. Okay. So then it'll be um, three methyl. Yes. To all, no. This, this see all the functional group are suffix, na. Yes. Like all aldehyde, these are the suffix. So that's why you can't write it before the naming of complete. Na, let's see. It is completely pent, right? Mm-hmm. So pent. So these alcohol, these are written as suffix, and these methyl and the branching is always written as prefix. So that's why you will call it as a three methyl. Okay, you will you can't say like two all. You will write at the suffix because it is for suffix, na functional group or suffix. 
Yes. So pent to all. Got it. Mm-hmm. So three methyl pent to all. Are you getting or not? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Um. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Feel free to ask anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, any single doubt, I will tell you definitely. What is the name of that compound? You have already studied that. Sure. Um. One more second. This is CH two. CH two means aldehyde. You know that. Yes. C. Well, sorry. What do you say? C. CH two means al aldehyde al. Yes. So um, basically that would be um. Oh, sorry. Um. Is that a H over there on the right side, or is that a N? Always start from that. Okay. And it is and it is inclusive. You have to include that carbon also. So of course this is butanal. But means four and al means aldehyde. Butanal. You remember C three H seven C H O. You have mm-hmm. already studied that. Yes. Okay. Now, yes. What is the name of that compound? Sure, just let me write it down quickly. So, um, it would be 